Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Swiss roll or um, a cake, a Yule log piece. Um, yeah, so this is just the easier way instead of wrapping it inside, and so let's get started. So, firstly, you're going to need white polymer clay, and you're only going to need a little block about probably even way smaller than that and next you're going to need a color for the cake and I like to texture mine so I just use a regular toothbrush and if you would like to add a cherry you can add a cherry also additionally so first off you're going to take your cake color and um, have about hmm, I just eyeballing it a little about this much and my cake is about the size of roughly a quarter so first you're going to condition your cake part and you're going to need about this much this much clay and just roll into a ball and this does stand up, so you can stand it up. It's so cute. And then you're going to flatten down your clay. And just get it to the thickness you want. But remember, this is a slice. So you don't really have to worry about kind of the thickness of this. So once you're done with that, you're just going to flatten the bottom to make a U-log shape. And I kind of like mine tall, so just make a yule log shape. So I think that's good. This one is actually a little smaller than this one. So after you're done and you get the kind of shape that you want, you're going to get your toothbrush and just lightly pat it all over the... Um, This is going to be the back, so pat it really hard on the back because you're just going to be turning it over. And actually, this is going to be the back. Okay. Actually, I don't know which one's going to be the back. But anyways, um, pat all the sides down and also, additionally, the bottom. And it will kind of deform your shape when you do the toothbrush to it. So, once you're done with that and you get the texturing that you like on your cake, you're going to do the frosting. And kind of just set it aside standing up so it can kind of get the feel for standing. Um, um, next, you're going to take, you probably don't even need this much. I'm just going to cut this like that, and I'm just going to use this much. So, um, you're going to condition your white clay and just roll it into a long, thin snake. And I'm not going to be doing the cherry for this, by the way. So I'm just going to roll mine until I get the size um, of the filling I like for my cake. Okay, so I'm just going to... Ooh. My camera slipped. Sorry about that, guys. Um, my beautiful background now. Um, anyways, you're probably gonna not need this long of a piece, but just to keep safe, I'm just going to use that long of a piece. So you're going to start off in the center, and you're kind of want to gonna pre-curl it, so it's easier to just put on the cake. Remember to start in the center, and you're just going to start by rolling it around. And it's really, really, just really simple. And I'm just going to end it right there. Mine's kind of lopsided, but that's okay with me. Okay, actually I don't like how that is going. Okay, 
Okay, kind of made mine thinner by stretching it. I still don't like how it looks, but for the sake of this tutorial's time, I'm just going to keep it there. So you're done, and, um, uh, so you're done with this Yule Swiss roll piece or cake, Yule log cake piece, so, and you can also add an additional berry on top. So this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you for watching.